Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk Sports. We are continuing with the IPL series and this time it's time to talk about Delhi Capitals. So let's start as is the usual way we start talking about the playing 11. So let's talk about the opening pairs of Delhi Capitals first. So for Delhi, I think the opening pair has been a fairly consistent one. Even last year, although Delhi didn't have a lot of good time during the season, but uh, the opening pair of David Warner, I think he managed to score runs consistently. He had the added bar pressure of being the captain of the side in the absence of Rishav Pant. This time, I think with Pant back and shouldering the responsibility of the captaincy, Warner would be a lot more, uh, be able to play a lot more freely, uh, considering and we hope to see, and since he's almost nearing the time of his retirement, he has already retired in some formats of the international cricket. So, he would be, and he loves India, right? And so from that perspective, he would be uh, looking to come down here and have a very good IPL season. Partnering Warner, I think, again, a fairly simple call, Prithvi Shaw. Sometimes in the news for all the wrong reasons, sometimes making news for scoring beautiful centuries in the domestic scene. But Prithvi Shaw needs to strike that chord of consistency, right? He needs to, because there's so much talent around in India in the cricketing scene that you just cannot be good. You have to be better than that. And Prithvi Shaw needs to understand that, uh, get his act together and make sure that People are forced to take notice of him. People already know about him, that he's a talent. But from Prithvi Shaw's perspective, it is important that he has one stellar IPL season in which he scores and Amesis runs after runs and suddenly people start talking about him. That is what is required. But combination-wise, Warner and Prithvi Shaw it is. Number three, uh, I think the newly appointed or maybe about to be appointed the T20 captain of Australia. Mitchell Marsh, again a very good season last year, contributing handsomely with both the bat and ball. So he is one of the first names in the team sheet and Mitchell Marsh would be there uh, coming in at number three, scoring runs, bowling overs. So huge, huge asset for Delhi Capitals. Number four, I think brings a smile to my face. What we all have been waiting for, it's time to see Rishabh Pant doing what he is best doing at, right? So I am so, so longing to see Rishabh Pant back in the cricketing field and hitting those sixes out of the park, especially the one-handed ones. So would be absolutely, uh, I just hope that uh, Pant takes his time in terms of easing it back. It should not be one hurried hell of a return uh, because he is he has a very, very bright prospect for Indian cricket. So keeping that in mind, I hope the authorities and the management would make sure that he eases back into the games and handles his workload very well because Rishav Pant is too precious a resource uh, to be not taken care about. Number five, I think the process or the thinking uh, in the mini auction from the mini auction was that Delhi Capitals wanted to play Harry Brook in that slot. I think there were a few quotes as well out in the media that they and saw Brook playing a number five role. But I think the latest news going around is that Brook has pulled out of the IPL. So it would not be broke any longer. Now, the other options that Delhi have right now, as of now in the squad, and I think there is Shai Hope and Tristan Stubbs. I think for the number five slot, Stubbs is a very good player. It could be a blessing in disguise for uh, Delhi Capitals. Stubbs having spent one year in Mumbai Indians, he could make this spot his own. Number five could be a very good spot the added advantage being that Stubbs can keep wickets as well. So in case Rishabh Pant is not being able to keep, then Stubbs almost fits in easily, right? And then, so that, that becomes helpful. Although uh, Shai Hope can keep too, but I think for the number five role, Christian Stubbs is the perfect choice. So could very well be, like I said, a blessing in disguise, but we would have to wait and see that uh, if Delhi Capitals opt for a replacement for Brook and if that, who it is. But I think as of now, it should be Tristian Stubbs. Number six, uh, I think it's a should be a new person. And again, going by the mini auction route, they have paid a very handsome amount for somebody called Kumar Kushagra. 
So Delhi were very keen, not knowing what Rishabh Pant situations would be like. So Delhi were very keen to get backups for the wicketkeeper slot. Kumar Kushagra is one of them and they spent around, I think, 7.2 crores uh, in the mini auction. And that's a huge, huge sum to pay for somebody who is not very well known in the Indian domestic scene. Now, Kushagra, I've seen some footages of him. A ball of a stroke maker, right? He he plays for Jharkhand, I think. And I have seen him belting the ball out of the park. But have to keep in mind that the quality of bowling attack that he was facing in domestic, Said Mushtaq Ali or otherwise, would not be the same. IPL offers you the best of international bowling and he would have to make a mark over there. But I think Delhi, having spent that much, identifies something in this player and probably would want to look at him. They have let go on Sarfaraz Khan, mind you. So from that perspective also, so must have seen something on this guy to uh, get so put in so much money. The other option could be Vyaj Dhul, but I think Kushagra is the one whom I see uh, starting off. So that, that could be, an, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's a very huge call, but I'm ready to put my neck on the line and say that we could be seeing a lot of Kushagra this year in the IPL. Number seven, I think, Akshar Patel, no questions asked. He has been stellar, phenomenal for Delhi Capitals over the last two seasons. Consistently bowling, getting runs. He has uh, improved very, very much with the bat. So it could, it would be Akshar Patel definitely at number seven. Number eight, I think the man coming back to form, coming back to his elements, Kuldeep Yadav. He has again been on the rise. His stocks is on the rise, doing well for the Indian cricket team. So Kuldeep Yadav, again, would be looking with the T20 World Cup in the horizon, would be looking to make a stellar uh, performance and uh, statement to the selectors. I think next, uh, I'd go with the left armor, Khalil Ahmed first. Again, very, very good with uh, Delhi Capitals last season. And uh, he offers a bit of variety to the pace attack. So Khalil Ahmed should slot in, in the number nine slot. Number 10, uh, another India recruit, recent recruit, Mukesh Kumar. So this guy again has been doing very well in the uh, domestic circuit over the years, has been duly rewarded with Indian team caps. And now uh, again, it's a chance he would be high on confidence, have played a little bit of international cricket and would now get a chance to shine for Delhi Capitals once again. Number 11, if it should be Andrik Norkia, day in, day out. But the problem is that Norkia sometimes is not on the best of his fitness levels and we would have to look into that but if it I think Norkia walks into the 11 and is a huge huge asset for Delhi Capitals. Impact player options let's get into that so if I think Delhi are batting first DC batting first in that case probably uh, there's Yaj Thul if he misses out or if Kushagra is not playing they could look him to use at use him at some point of time in hard hitting uh, situations and probably one of Khalid Mukesh, anyone could sit out. If they are bowling, I think there are options like Ishan Sharma, the Willy veteran, Lalit Yadav can bowl in some spin. So all these people are there who could come in and probably bowl a few overs if they need be. Overseas options, I think Brook we have already talked about. So it's time will tell if they see at all opts for a replacement for Harry Brook. I think the other two options are in the pace department. One being Jai Richardson, the other being Lungi Engiri. I think it will come down to whether based on uh, Nokia's fitness. If Nokia is fit, I don't see Jai Richardson or NGD getting a lot of games. But yes, always good to have backups. And if, for example, the Indian batting comes through, they can also probably look to have a 2-2 combination in two batsmen and two bowlers, which Delhi had, I think, in one of the seasons. right? And they did very well in that when they had Rabada um, and Norkia bowling together in tandem. So that could also be an option, but I think to start with, they go with a lone pacer, lone overseas pacer with the able backups of Mukesh Kumar and uh, Khalil Ahmed. That's about it. I think thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we would be back very soon with the next team in this same series. And till then, please keep watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.